Lightning seen from our Mount Miguel sky cam as Hurricane Hillary makes its way towards San Diego County. Yeah, you can see it right here behind us. I don't know if we can take it up full, but this was earlier this morning, that light show over our deserts. And this is just the beginning with the bulk of the storms impacts expected to hit later on today and then also into tomorrow. Yeah, good morning, everyone. I am Aaron Dickens. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Melissa Messia. August 19th, as we take a look at our weather tools right now, this is our satellite and radar here. So we saw a lot of activity in the eastern portion of our county as far as the lightning is concerned and also Imperial County that tropical storm warning it's in effect right now for the entire weekend not only in our county but also to the north of us a historic warning here never been issued before as we take a look at our ABC 10 news pinpoint Doppler live fairly quiet right now and I know it sounds cliche but this is the calm before the storm before some of the wider impacts hit us a little bit later on today and then into tomorrow. As we zoom on out, you still see the well-defined eye of the storm continuing to make its way up north. It was a category four this morning and it just became a category three within the past few minutes. As we take a live look over Poway, you might be looking outside and you're thinking, you know, what storm? Because it's fairly quiet right now. Well, enjoy this because yes, it is quiet right now. That is going to change. 67 degrees right now in Poway. As we look at our chance of rain, you see that does increase, especially especially for our mountains and our desert. So a lot of activity later on today, Aaron. Melissa, thank you. And local leaders addressing this storm as it bears down on our region. Right now, officials going over how they plan to protect our homeless population. ABC 10 News reporter Perla Shahid is live downtown. Perla, what are you seeing down there? Well, the city does tell us that they have a very comprehensive plan to deal with the homeless encampments and to warn them ahead of this storm. Right now, there are outreach teams throughout the city warning a lot of the unsheltered populations about what's to come, especially near the San Diego River. I'm here with a, an employee of the city. Her name's Ashley. Ashley, can you tell me exactly what's happening with the 20th and B sleeping site specifically? Because I know you guys have to move a lot of people over there. Yeah, so the safe sleeping site, um, as you know, is um, a place where people can safely camp, um, but given the weather conditions that we're expecting over the next few days, um, the decision was made yesterday to um, transfer those individuals to Golden Hall that's right back here um, for the next few days um, so that they can have a safe place to ride out the storm. And what do you expect over the next few days in terms of flooding and why is the city so uh, moving people here right now. I think that's that's what's unpredictable at this point is is just to what extent we're going to have those conditions um, at the 20th and B site. Those people are out in the elements because um, they're just in those um, camping tents, um, which is a great solution that other cities use. But we don't usually get this type of weather, so we just want to be very cautious and make sure that those people are safe during this time. And you mentioned it's unusual for this time of year, but the city did open those inclement weather shelters as well. They're already activated, I'm aware. They're not activated just yet. They usually send out the activations. They make the decisions in the morning based on what the conditions are that day, because um, it is additional resources that some of those, um, some of them are current service providers. So it's additional resources that they have to stand up, staff that they have to bring in and all of those things. So uh, we do have those plans in place to activate them. Um, I would anticipate sometime today based on the weather conditions or early tomorrow. Okay, Ashley, thank you for joining us this morning to talk about all of these issues. And we do have a lot more information on our website at 10news.com. If you need to get more information about getting alerts or text messages about emergencies near you. Live downtown, Perla Shaheen, ABC 10 News. Perla, thank you so much. And state and federal officials will be providing an update on the state's response and preparedness efforts ahead of Hurricane Hillary. That will be at noon today at the offices of emergency Emergency Services Headquarters up in Northern California. We will update any new information that comes out of it on our website, 10news.com. And here at home, San Diegans can protect their homes by picking up sandbags. We saw a lot of people out at the Bonita Fire Department, the fire station there in the South Bay earlier this morning. Here's
from other locations. People can also pick some up at nine different rec centers in the city of San Diego. You see the website on your screen for more information. The city is allowing 10 bags per person. The same amount goes for National City, where sandbags will be distributed at the National City Fire Department. And in the North County, sandbags are available at El Corazon Recycling. They recommend you call ahead. If you experience problems this winter, I would expect and anticipate problems uh, this weekend. With the storm on its way to our county, this is a reminder that we have a lot of useful tools that you can take advantage of. One of them is the county's alert website in the event of a major emergency. It's called alertsandiego.org. You can enroll your phone number or email address to receive emergency alerts directly to your device. There's also the San Diego Emergency app, which allows you to see alerts in real time about what's happening around the county. You can get texts and phone calls and emails with something's happening in your neighborhood. Everything in the palm of your hand, response information, preparedness information, it's right there. The app not only warns about storms, but also has an earthquake early warning system. We're also learning the Navy is moving all of its ships out of San Diego ahead of the storm. A Navy spokesperson confirmed to us that all ships at submarines will remain at sea until the storm passes. There are vessels from Naval Base San Diego, Coronado, Point Loma also. The Navy says its aircraft are secured in big hangars and they're designed to withstand these winds. As you plan, it's always a good idea, of course, Aaron, to discuss the plan with your family. Yeah, and pack an emergency supply kit. That is very important. The Red Cross recommends keeping plenty of drinking water available, about one gallon per person. Have non-perishable food on hand that can still be prepared or eaten if there is no gas or electricity. Also on the list, you can see there batteries, flashlights, first aid kits, a battery-powered or hand crank radio, multi purpose tool, any medical supplies, pet supplies you need, copies of important personal documents like passports, certificates, and uh, insurance policies, Melissa. Yeah, reminder that our free ABC 10 News app, the best tool to track the storm, we're constantly updating this. You can watch the latest video forecast, interactive radar that goes to street level. You can also track conditions in your neighborhood hour by hour.